I now will present the Atheist Gamer. Thank you, thank you. Now, let me just pull this microphone out of the microphone stand, because I want to walk around. This is sort of my thing. Now, there's many types of comedy out there. Some are suited for adults, whilst others are suited for children. Your goal is to try to get as many people to laugh as possible. You try to find stories that may be on the news or in your life, and try to make it sound funny, all in the while not trying to sound like you're just ranting about what's just going on. And I'm starting to see more people just do this sort of thing to sound funny, while at the same time rant about stuff in a serious way. It, it sort of sounds like this. You know, me and a woman's already crying for me because I'm already hated for pointing out sexism in a video game. How could I get so much hate? Yeah, that, that sort, sort of stuff. stuff. Let me show you a video where this one feminist tries her very best to be funny while at the same time trying to debunk Nicole Arbor video on feminism. Enjoy! I hear voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. Okay, but now you've probably seen this Canadian comedian named Nicole Arbor who makes these videos. Dear fat people, dear black people, dear Instagram models, dear blah blah blah. She wears tank tops and shoves her boobs in the camera. She likes to touch them a lot. She wears some makeup on her decollage. Decollage, that's a fancy name for this. I'm sorry, am I supposed to find you attractive because you're wearing a bra? I know you're not that old, but still, are you trying to hit on me? I would, but I'm pale. I live in New York. We're vampires. <laughs> yep, this is what counts as comedy now. You just make random sound effects. Well, two can play that game. <laughs> Now, Nicole likes to make videos that offend people, like, that's her thing. She's all about, like, let me make really offensive videos. Her last one was called Dear Feminist, and I thought, you know, should I even make this video and give this woman more attention? But I really hate it when women use the very rights feminists fought for to attack feminism. You will bow down to feminist Christ. Now, Nicole claims that her nastiest comments on YouTube are from feminists, and I was like, really? You act like feminists can never leave such mean comments. Because I saw some of those comments on her videos. Holy shit. There's some crazy people out there. I go through some things that you can thank a feminist for, Nicole. The right to vote. This is wrong. The right to own property. The right to marry the person of your choice. Wrong well, again. The right to get a divorce. The right to your own line of credit after you get that divorce. The Still wrong. The right for you to get an education. Again, wrong. The right to wear a bikini, short shorts, or the right to wear pants. Would you look at that? It's wrong o'clock. Women had to fight for the right to wear pants. Hey, and if you lived in New York City, you have the right to walk down the street without even a top on. That's right, not even pasties. True, you can just be like, hello, deal with it. Just don't shove those fake boobs in my face. They're not helping. The fact that you speak your mind into a camera, you can thank a feminist. Jesus Christ, this is just the feminist version of Christians sucking off Jesus' cock for giving them life. Hell, you guys are just one step away of having your own churches. Can you picture on what that would be like? My greetings, my fellow feminists. It is a wonderful day that we gather up in here where no voice is different matters, because we all think the same. We are gathered here today to be thankful for the feminists who have died for our rights to have freedom of speech and the right to vote. For it is said in the dictionary, if you can just turn to the F page, you will find the meaning of feminism, the advocacy of equal rights. This should be more than enough reason for anyone to join. Those who speak out against our cause have been brainwashed by the patriarchy and became misogynists. Without feminism, we would all be misogynists. Treating women as nothing more than mere slaves. Luckily for us, we have our own safe heaven from these lies. They will tell us that the wage gap is a lie, telling us that you don't have to be a feminist in order to be a good person. That is all lies from the patriarchy. Let us pray. But most importantly, the right to birth control. That's right, birth control. Don't we all like birth control? Men and women, I think most of us do. We made this assumption that all feminists are hideous, unkept women who don't shave their legs or armpits. Well, check this out, bitch. What? Will you stop flaunting your meat flaps? You're not at some fucking rave party. Bitch. 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 Get out the way. 
What? What? Although, you know, body hair is a personal choice and there's plenty of feminists who don't shave, just as there are plenty of men who remove every single strand of body hair. So what's your point? Following celebrities all identified as feminists. That's right, they didn't even apologize for it. Can you believe it? All of these women call themselves feminists. And then there are those who don't call themselves feminists and people like yourself respond, oh, they don't get what feminism is, then bring out the dictionary like the Holy Bible. How the fuck is feminism not a religion when they act exactly like a Christian would do when they are trying to prove that God exists? That's right. Third wave feminism. Third wave feminism, also called pro-sex feminism. Uh, what? I'm aware that there are different types of feminism, such as sex-positive feminism and sex-negative feminism, but saying that all third-wave feminists, which is pretty much the majority of feminists, is sex-positive feminism is just wrong. For fuck's sakes, even you don't know what feminism is. You see, you talked about blowjobs and how feminists hate blowjobs because they're degrading. Well, let me list the sex acts between consenting adults that feminists are against. This is the part where you laugh. Nobody's laughing. But considering that different feminists have different viewpoints about sex and consent, there will be feminists to tell you on how to consent to sex. Hell, there's even a video showing on how to consent to sex. Even the Young Turks find this stupid, and their brain size is as large as a walnut. Links in the description, of course. Now let me list the sex acts between consenting adults that feminists are for! I'm gonna have to show you a scrolling list because that is long. Wow, look at that. Look at, I can, yeah, they're okay with that too. And they're okay with that. That would be like a 45 minute video if I actually ran through them all, so I won't. I'll save ya. You're already wasting people time with your stupidity. Feminists don't have a problem with blowjobs or handy days. I'm sure you might have read that on some crazy blog, but you read all kinds of crazy shit on the internet. And feminists are even for women who get paid to have blowjobs on camera, or get paid to have blowjobs in a car. Not if you're sex negative feminist and also an anti poor feminist. Like I said, there are different types of feminists, but for you, it's all the same. So you know what? Fuck facts! Or in a hotel room. Fact? Feminists have been some of the most outspoken supporters of sex workers. So Nicole also claims that feminists call her a slut on YouTube, which I find a little hard to believe. It's almost as if you believe there is no feminist that's willing to call other women sluts. Because, you know, dictionary. This thing called slut shaming, where feminists have actually fought against women, or men for that matter, having their sexual past or sex life being brought up to trash them. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. I don't think they'd be calling you a slut. Hey, Nicole, you were also talking about pay inequity. Bad news for you about that industry that you probably want to be working more in, you know, entertainment. It's heavily dominated by white men. In 2014, out of the top 100 films, 70% of the speaking roles went to men. That's director. You know what? This is just a repeat of every feminist argument. Wage gap, lack of diversity, and so on and so forth. Can I just have a couple of links in the description so we can just end this video? Writers, producers, and studio executives are also white and male. You could pull Alina Dunham and produce your own film. Sure, but she got $25,000 from her parents. We don't need feminists, it's just a bunch of whiny bitches. In the US, I don't know about Canada. In 2015, in the first three months, there were over 300 bills introduced into state legislatures to limit or restrict a woman's right to choose. There are politicians who want to make birth control illegal. Birth control. If we don't have any other problems in the US right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't even care anymore. I just lost it. And here's another fun fact. In 40 states right now in the U.S., there's a tax on our friend, the tampon. I can't... Tamp, I can't do the bit you did in your... I can't do... I, they just hit the camera and... They, what? Laugh at me! I'm trying to be funny! They hit the camera. She throws tampons into the camera. I can't... I, I just hit the camera. I just... I, it... What? Oh, my non-existing god, will you just shut up? You know what else has a tax? Toilet paper. We need to wipe this shit out of our asses. There are a few more reasons that we need feminism. Again, I don't want to make this a 45 minute video, but I easily could. All that could be easily debunked with a little bit of research. The U.S. ranks 98th in the world for the amount of women we have in our national legislature. 98th. We're 98th. And who cares? Now to your last point. Barbie, Mattel just announced that they're coming out with a new line of dolls in petite, tall, and curvy with a variety of skin shades 
and hair textures because they want the dolls to look like the girls who actually play with them. Or is it oversensitive folks like yourself that demand that a doll change to your body standards because dictionary? They don't also want to promote a body type that is physically impossible for anyone to attain. Granted, Barbie's body is a bit unrealistic. However, no little girl is going to look up to Barbie by the age of 13. But pretty soon you're going to have to say you look like vintage Barbie. Feminists don't hate men. Feminists don't think women are better than men. Feminists don't want to get rid of men. To call a man an animal is to flatter him. He's a machine. A walking dildo. There are plenty of examples where feminists have shown no care for men whatsoever to the point of downright misandry. But let me guess, she's not a true feminist or not an old feminist. Yeah, go fuck yourself with that bullshit. Feminists are not for making women above men or hurting men. You don't have to call yourself a feminist. You don't have to agree with everything every feminist says. You don't have to agree with every blog. There's a few that I really can't stand. And of course you can find crazy people out there that will say crazy things on the internet and then slap the label feminist on top of it. It's the internet. You can find 10 women who identify as feminists and find 10 different opinions. Ultimately, what it's about is empowering women. So feminists have different ideologies, but at the end of the day, you'll get to speak on behalf of every feminist. Gotcha. Feminist just want to be treated as equal human beings. Well, better start setting up against criticism because you're gonna get a lot of it. I pay for my own dinners and pay for my own mortgage, okay? Again, Google it. Third wave feminism. Don't have to. Your video alone is filled with so many holes to show that feminism is not about equality. I think it's safe to say that you're trying way too hard to make people laugh. Seriously, I can see you're struggling. And you can give all the blowjobs you want, or... Handy J! That's my personal favorite. Handy J! Handy J! Handy J! Handy J! I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.